Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome to the first Free Draw Friday episode. So today I thought it would be really fun to make an illustration of a Japanese girl wearing a kimono and a kitsune mask. So I kind of got the idea from this from looking at paper craft artwork uh, where there's lots of layering and depth and I thought it would be really cool to see an origami pattern used in that medium. I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but let's give it a shot. So when my mother-in-law went to Japan last year to visit her family, I asked her to bring me back some origami paper because I wanted to do something art related with it. I wasn't sure what at the time, but I definitely knew that I wanted to use it. So I have since tried multiple times to make anything decent, and while it's not perfect, this was my best attempt so far. So I looked at a lot of different images of girls wearing kimonos, and at first I was going to try doing a really dynamic pose, but in the end I decided on something that was a little more simple and would show off the patterns of the origami paper. I tend to be really heavy handed when I draw and push down hard on the paper. Probably should have done this on different paper, but by the time I realized I was too far into the art to change it. Um, but I made this piece on Arches watercolor paper. It's a pretty heavy paper. And I love using it, but probably not the best for what I was trying to do here. Ugh. Feet are hard. <laughs> I should probably practice some more. I've always wanted to make a Kitsune character because I love foxes, so drawing the mask was really, really fun. I also really love messy hair because you get to draw all the strands and ugh, nerding out about stupid, stupid art stuff. <laughs> oh my god, this light box. I love it. I got it for Christmas for my husband. It was on my wish list. The first time I saw someone use it was on a speed draw video on YouTube. And oh my gosh, it is so powerful. It has a couple different light settings and it's nice and flat. And if you like it, I will leave a link in the description to where you can buy it on Amazon if you guys are interested. Oh boy, so here is where I messed up. Okay, so after tracing the pattern and cutting everything out, I was a big dum-dum and realized that, duh, if the paper is flipped to the back and the back of the origami is what I use to trace the drawing, then of course it is what is, it's going to come out that way. So, uh, I took another piece of paper and I used the cutouts that I just made to trace the kimono pattern again. And would you believe it? I did it a second time. <laughs> so it just, I just couldn't brain that day. I, <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me, but I spared you the footage of that. So uh, after you see me fit the pattern onto the image and give that thumbs up, that was probably more for myself than anyone else. Like, good job, me. You finally did it, you big stupid head.
So at this point I just trim the extra bits off and I trace a little farther than the actual line art because I was afraid of messing up so better to do that and then trim it than cut too short and have to do it all over again considering I already had to cut the pattern out a couple times for my own uh, silly brain. So then I cut all the other bits out like the hand and I use the blue part of the same origami paper to make the obi so that everything matched for the kimono. Then I inked the parts that might get covered by the paper, but this is another part I probably should have waited a little bit on. I get super impatient with drawing sometimes and I just want to go to the next step or because I'm really enjoying working on it and I want to <laughs> I want to finish. But I probably should have waited until my brush pen dried a little bit because when I was using the Copix I ended up pulling some of the black out of the ink and then um, into the, some of the color parts of the image. Glue, 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 glue. Lots of glue. Glue, glue, glue. Nothing special here. Just putting all the pieces together. Uh, for this, I just used, wait for it, Target brand glue. Wow. Um, I've never really done something like this before, so if anybody has any ideas of a different kind of glue that I could use, that would really help me out if you want to leave a comment down below. I really, really love doing line art. Even if I mess up or I smudge, I just have a really good time doing it. It's really relaxing for me. Um, probably just as much as I like coloring. I should probably make a series on this. I have a couple stacks of different origami paper that I got from my mother-in-law that I could do a couple different kimono girls. Maybe I'll pick a couple different masks and try it out. If there is a certain Japanese 
character from folklore that you're interested in seeing um, as a girl in a kimono, you can leave your ideas down below too. Ah uh, yes, that is a shot of me making an Instagram video. Classy, I know. I could not seem to keep my head out of this shot. I, I kind of tend to get right on top of my drawing when I'm drawing. But anyway, if you want to follow me on Instagram, this image is already up there and finished. Uh, all you have to do is search for it. Uh, my username is comicmaker. So, if you are into those things, you can watch me here, or follow me on all my social media. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and I have my webcomic called A Day at a Time on Tapas, Webtoon, and Smack G's. Links for all of that are in the description. Did I mention that I love messy hair? Because, man, do I love it. So this stamp is another request I asked of my mother-in-law. I've always wanted a stamp or something with my name in Japanese and I was so excited when she brought this back for me. I will probably use it on most of my illustrations now. Oh, it's so freaking cool. I am a nerd. Please ignore me. Or don't. Subscribe even. Show me what's what. All joking aside, if you like what I made here today, please subscribe. I'll be making free Draw Friday videos pretty much every Friday and graphic novel fan art reviews once a month. But that's it for me. Thanks for stopping by and I hope that we can draw together again soon.